both a nostalgic and modernized context. He understood that the RMS Titanic, while historically tragic, still held a place in the hearts of millions worldwide. This was not just about recreating a ship but rekindling a legend in a safer, more advanced era. By 2018, the buzz around Titanic II had grown, but despite the excitement, setbacks in shipyard negotiations led to delays. Palmer wasn't just facing legal and political challenges in China, but also financial and logistical ones, which caused the project to stall. A new hope for Titanic II Despite the numerous setbacks, by 2023, Palmer's vision for Titanic II seemed to be back on track. Reports surfaced that the ship was once again in active development, with a targeted launch year of 2027. With advancements in maritime technology and safety, Palmer has emphasized that Titanic II would incorporate state-of-the-art systems that would prevent the repeat of the 1912 disaster. This ship would feature modern navigation systems, radar, and a hull designed to withstand icebergs, the primary culprit behind the sinking of the original. One significant update that reassured many was the inclusion of enough lifeboats for all passengers, a critical failure of the original ship. The original Titanic only had lifeboats for about half of the passengers, a tragic oversight that led to so many unnecessary deaths. Palmer's Titanic II would not repeat these mistakes. The new ship will also be built to modern SALAS, safety of life at sea, regulations, ensuring it meets international safety standards. The design, nostalgia meets modernity. Titanic II is expected to closely mirror the design of the original Titanic, including its iconic three-class system, first, second, and third-class accommodations. However, the replication won't stop at design, the team behind the new ship is keen on preserving the Edwardian luxury that characterized the RMS Titanic. This includes replicating many of the original features that made the Titanic famous, such as the grand staircase, dining rooms, and even the swimming pool. However, the interior is expected to come with modern amenities that were absent in the early 20th century. These include Wi-Fi, air conditioning, and advanced plumbing systems. Despite these updates, Palmer's team has promised that the new ship will still retain the charm and aesthetic of the original. In fact, they've employed historians and architects to meticulously recreate details from the original ship, down to the wood paneling and the intricate light fixtures public reception and skepticism. While some have greeted the news of Titanic II with excitement, others remain skeptical or even horrified by the idea. Critics argue that trying to rebuild a ship so closely associated with one of the greatest maritime disasters in history is insensitive. The RMS Titanic, after all, is a symbol of hubris and tragedy. They question whether anyone would want to board a ship with such a tragic legacy, even if it's far safer than its predecessor. Moreover, some maritime experts have raised concerns about the economic viability of the project. The shipping industry has changed drastically since 1912, with most ships today being designed for either mass tourism or cargo, not for luxury voyages. Palmer's Titanic II is essentially a niche cruise ship, and experts wonder whether it will be able to attract enough passengers to be profitable. There's also the question of safety, despite all of Palmer's assurances. The North Atlantic, where Titanic II is set to travel, is still known for its dangerous waters, especially in the spring when icebergs are common. Even with modern technology, some critics fear that history could repeat itself. Why Titanic II? One of the most frequent questions asked is, why build Titanic II? For Palmer, the answer lies in the symbolism and romance of the Titanic. It's not just a ship but a cultural icon, immortalized in books, movies, and history lessons around the world. He sees Titanic II as a way to complete the journey that the original ship never could. It's about legacy, history, and a chance to honor those who lost their lives in the original tragedy by building something that they believed in, the ultimate passenger liner. There's also the allure of bringing the past into the present. The Titanic has captured the imaginations of countless people, from historians to filmmakers to casual enthusiasts. By building Titanic II, 
Palmer believes he can bridge the gap between those who have studied the ship for decades and a new generation that may not know its full story. It's an opportunity for people to walk the decks, climb the grand staircase, and experience the majesty that passengers in 1912 thought they were embarking on only without the looming threat of disaster. Construction and Timeline The timeline for Titanic II has been a long and winding one. Originally slated for completion in 2016, the project faced numerous delays, largely due to political and economic challenges. However, in recent years, Palmer's Blue Star Line has reaffirmed its commitment to seeing the ship completed. The new projected launch is set for June 2027, and according to Palmer, construction contracts are being finalized, and key phases of the build are underway. The shipyard responsible for the build, CSC Jinling in China, has been heavily involved in large-scale ship constructions in the past, giving some confidence that Titanic II will indeed see the light of day. If all goes according to plan, Titanic II's maiden voyage will follow a nearly identical route to the original, departing from Southampton, England, and arriving in New York City, USA. Once completed, Titanic II will not only serve as a luxury cruise liner but also as a floating museum of sorts. Palmer has expressed interest in using the ship as an educational tool, offering passengers a glimpse into life in the early 1900s. The voyage will be a time capsule of sorts, combining the historical aesthetics of the original with the comfort and safety of modern travel. The Future of Titanic II As we approach the projected 2027 launch date, the world is watching with bated breath. Will Palmer succeed where others have failed? If he does, Titanic II could very well be one of the most iconic ships of the 21st century. It would serve not only as a symbol of human perseverance, but also as a reminder of the lessons learned from one of the most tragic events in maritime history. For now, the world remains cautiously optimistic. Titanic II is a daring project, one that seeks to honor the past while forging a new path forward. If it succeeds, passengers will board not just a ship, but a piece of history brought back to life. But if it fails, it may serve as a reminder that some legends are best left in the past. Palmer's vision for Titanic II continues to evolve, with more details expected to emerge as the project nears completion. Whether you view it as a tribute, a folly, or an act of historical reclamation, one thing is clear, Titanic II is more than just a ship, it's a symbol of humanity's enduring fascination with its own history, both the triumphs and the tragedies.